Hey guys, welcome back to Thursday's BBC Gossip Column review. We'll take we'll taking a look at all today's transfer rumours and gossip. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. And we'll start with this. Tottenham have made England forward Harry Kane an offer to remain with the club that would hugely improve his current £200,000 a week salary. That's from The Guardian. Yeah, no real surprise that Tottenham are offering him a new contract and they're going to probably have to... I mean, they're, they're almost probably going to have to double that wage. I mean, if you look at Erling Haaland's on £375,000 a week, I mean, Kane should be on something similar. So he's miles off in terms of where he should be for a player of his quality. And, you know, what are Tottenham actually going to offer him? Are they going to offer him the big cash? Who knows? But look at this, guys, here. Bayern Munich manager Thomas Tuchel has met with Kane to discuss a potential move, which has angered Spurs chairman Daniel Levy. That's from Build in Germany. If this is true, then I am absolutely shocked, guys. I'm shocked because I would not have expected Harry Kane to have met another manager, you know what I mean, whilst he's still contracted to Tottenham Hotspur. Now, we've got to be honest. Has this actually happened? Who knows? I mean, Builder saying it has. Thomas, uh, the, the other thing I would say is, is this actually good for, for Bayern Munich? Because one thing that you don't want to be doing is pissing off Daniel Levy, in my opinion, um, because he'll just he'll just refuse all the offers. So I'm not sure, actually, that's the best thing that Bayern Munich could have done. Um, AC Milan have made an improved bid of £18.9 million for Chelsea and United States winger Christian Pulisic. That's in the Daily Mail. I think that's a fair offer, 19 million quid, And I think... Um, I think that's a good. I think that's a good signing for AC Milan. Actually, nineteen million pound. Uh, Inter Milan have rejected a thirty-nine million pound bid for Manchester United for Cameroon goalkeeper Andre Onana, but talks continue. That's on the Guardian. Yeah, penny pinching for Man United continues. Thirty-nine million is not going to get Andre Onana out of the football club. It's going to be at least forty-five to fifty million pounds. So the United need to up that offer a little bit. Which, to be honest, I think they will end up doing. Uh, Chelsea are preparing an offer worth £85 million for Brighton's 21-year-old Ecuador midfielder Moises Caicedo. That's from Diego Arcos via Football London. This is a weird one, this one, isn't it? Because we've been waiting for this Chelsea offer for a couple of weeks and it's not come. However, are we on the edge of this bid from Chelsea for Moises Caicedo? It would be a great signing if they can get it over the line. Uh, Arsenal have now agreed a deal uh, of £38.5 million for Ajax, midfield, uh, Ajax defender sorry, Urien Timber, that's from the standard, improving their defensive um, stonks and back up. I think that's a good signing. The Gunners are also set to take their spending to £200 million after agreeing a deal for Timber and West Ham's 24-year-old midfielder Declan Rice. So big spenders are Arsenal. Uh, Newcastle are leading the way. Uh, for Leicester City's England midfielder Harvey Barnes, while Aston Villa, Tottenham and West Ham are also interested. That's according to The Guardian. I'm a big fan of Harvey Barnes. I think he's a really good player. Uh, I think it'll be really interesting to see what levels he can come up to. And I think a move to Tottenham, uh, to, to Newcastle, sorry, I think it's a good move for both parties. So, yeah, happy to see that one develop. Uh, Chelsea have opened talks with representatives of Argentina forward Paulo Dobala over a move from Roma. That's from Pedro Almeida. Um, yeah, I mean, he's not really kicked on, as he? I mean, he's a good player and that, but I think he's, I think if you look at his career, I think you probably say you're a little bit disappointed. I think there was hope at one point when he was younger that he would go on to be a world-class player and it's just not really worked out. Um, Chelsea are also interested in Southampton's Belgian defender, uh, midfielder, sorry, Romeo Lavia. That's from Sky Sports. Yeah, we, we know that Chelsea are interested, but we think Liverpool are leading the race on this one. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Manchester United's new signing, Mason Mount, rejected a £200,000 a week offer by Chelsea to try and keep the England midfielder at Stamford Bridge in February. That's from The Athletic. Uh, yeah, United have now confirmed that signing. Aston Villa and Everton are amongst the Premier League teams keen on 19-year-old Leeds United player Wilfred Gnotto. Uh, this is funny, actually, because a, a, a few City fans want City to go for Gnotto. Now, I don't. I don't think he's good enough, and I don't not seen enough of him to suggest to suggest that he could come into City and play at the top level. But there are some City fans out there that want him. I just think it's not. It's too soon in my in my personal opinion. Uh, Liverpool remain interested in 20-year-old English defender Levi Carwell, who Chelsea want to keep. Highly promising player. We know how good he is. You know, everyone knows that Levi Carwell is a player for the future. 
Um, and he's probably going to be playing for England in, in a short period of time because he's that good. And yeah, no surprise to me that Liverpool are interested in him because they also need to improve their defence. Uh, the red centre-back targets also include Lisbon's Portuguese defender Gonzalo Inacio and Wolfsburg's Netherlands defender Mickey van der Ven, who... Tottenham Hotspur also won. And I believe Tottenham Hotspur were like quite in advanced talks with Mickey van, der van, Mickey van der Ven. So it'll be interesting to see how Tottenham can get this deal across the line if Liverpool come in. Because if Liverpool come in for him, surely he's going to go Liverpool. Uh, Arsenal have now confirmed that Ethan Nanwari is staying with the club after attempts from Chelsea at City and United. Although Nanwari has signed a new scholarship deal, Arsenal are set to face a fight to keep him next March when he turns 17 and he's able to sign his first professional contract. So maybe it's not all out of the woods for Arsenal and Nanwari yet. DC United manager Wayne Rooney wants to keep on loan midfielder Lewis O'Brien from Nottingham Forest with Sheffield United also interested in signing the 24-year-old. That's from the Mirror. Inter Miami are focused on trying making a move for Eden Hazard, their latest big name signing with former defender, Belgian forward, uh, a free agent. Mate, that's just shocking. With the but with the former Belgian forward, a free agent after leaving Real Madrid, mate, it's just the way they write shit, guys, is is unbelievable. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping and I can't read and it's early, but I just read that and I struggle to read that, honestly. These BBC editors, man, they need firing. Uh, versatile Netherlands international Daily Blind is about to sign for Spanish club Girona after leaving Bayern Munich. So there you go, guys. There's your Daily Roundup Thursday on the BBC Gossip Column. The big news today, Harry Kane has reportedly met with uh, Bayern Munich manager Thomas Tuchel. But Tottenham not happy with that and are looking to offer... Like Harry Kane, a massive improvement on his, on his current £200,000 a week deal. So let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Have a great Thursday and I'll see you tomorrow.